Hello, hello. Uh, we are the Seat Prayer Public. My name is DR. And I'm Jam. So, uh, we're back ulit sa, ano, sa home office. Ano, uh, home namiss, office ko. Namiss ko yung, ano, yung yes. Solaire. Actually, namiss ko yung Solaire din. Thank you, Samsung. Yeah. Sa, thank you talaga, Samsung, oh, sa you talaga, ano, Samsung. sa amin last oh. uh, weekend. Uh, we enjoyed our stay and most of, most especially we enjoyed covering the ano the Samsung Galaxy the Sam- Samsung Unpacked 2015 yes. Philippines edition yes. where we played uh, where we where we had our first dibs mm. with the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Samsung Edge. Galaxy S6 Edge yes. and then well, actually, guys, if you want to know more about that, you could check out our YouTube channel and panoorin nyo po ang hands on namin ng Samsung na Galaxy S6. Or lagay natin yung link dito. Yeah, I guess yun yung... Lagay ko na lang yung link sa baba. Mm. Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge hands on mismo sa Samsung Unpack uh, sa Solaire. Yeah. Ka, ano, wala pa kaming masyadong ayos sa tulog noon. Pero, mm. my goodness, buti na lang ang bilis ng internet na na, na edit ka agad ni Jam at na upload niya ka agad. Yes. You know, we were one of the first to uh, to play and uh, you know, have a hands-on uh, experience with the you know, with the US. And my goodness, gusto ko kum- gusto ko na magkaroon ng Essex Edge. Yeah, ako din. Gusto ko magkaroon ng Essex ako Edge. Din. Ako din. Actually, ako <laughs> din. So, yung S5 ko na sales na. My S5 is officially old. <laughs> wala, wala, wala ka ng S5 eh. No? Wala na. Pero okay lang yun. Yung one year ng S5 mo. Okay may old for ka naman eh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, may bago tayong sapa. <laughs> thank you. Thank you oh, sa sapa. Oh, thank Sarap you mo sa, po. <laughs> oh, kung masenso na yung set namin, may sapa na kami. I don't know how for how long. <laughs> Pero anyway, um, let's focus on the news. Ang dami news ngayon. Mm-hmm. Because like si Samsung kinover namin kasi... Uh, it, it's the, it's this time of the season again, mm-hmm. where uh, all the mo, uh, where in uh, in Barcelona, Barcelona Spain, Spain, the uh, Mobile World Congress is held. Okay, oh. so this is an annual event. This has been going on for more than uh, for how long? I don't remember. Uh, all I remember is when I became active in you know in. Uh, in, te- in, techno- in technology tech in the te- in the in the tech industry back in 2003 meron na siya eh. hmm. so matagal na talaga oh hindi ko na matandaan uh, kung kailan siya nopisa actually hindi pa MWC tawag noon GSM uh, GSM pa tawag nila doon GSMA something uh, GSM uh, GSMA GSM, oh para something na ganun oh GSMA pa tawag nila doon mababasa ko pa nga yung uh, mga articles ni Jim Ison who's now the uh, product uh, uh, partnership uh, management uh, group yata mm-hmm. head of smart so, uh, which also houses uh, smart devnet um, siya pa nga nagsusunod about GSM before and uh, GSMA before and ano ano, ano, ano yun, kahit na two pages yun sa magazine mm-hmm. nawawala ako ng ilang ng, ng dalawang oras kasi ang sarap ano yan ang sarap basahin yung mga wow bago wow kailan kaya magkakaroon to wow kailan kaya magkakaroon tong cellphone na to mm-hmm. ganun parate it's not just about cellphones mobile kasi siya mobile so lahat anything about so may about tablets mobile. no may you know, may laptop and parent time na yun si Nokia ang bida eh mm-hmm. 2003 2004 2005 si Nokia ang bida so ang dami na ng mga phones nandun din si Motorola That, well, those were the times before no? pero this time uh, sa MWC 2015 and dami pa rin. Okay. And Samsung is leading the uh, is leading the pack. Uh yun nga, where, where we where we covered the unpack 2015. Yes. Um pero there are other you know other phones that we, that are worth discussing. Yeah. So yun ang topic namin actually today. So ang uh, first topic namin uh, sa mga ano sa mga bagong phones is uh, well one of the first is yung yung si Sony. Okay. Oh. So, ang dami mga chismis, ang dami mga balita. And mm-hmm. actually, nakakahilo na nga eh. Kasi, ang balita daw is, mag-withdraw na raw si Sony sa, ano, sa smartphone line, uh, sa pag, paggagawa ng mga smartphones. Kasi mahina talaga ang benta nila. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's been happening for years, but Sony is trying to struggle on. Pero, as of, uh, as of, uh, kailan ba? January? Or was it December? Na nabalita sila na, sorry, tapos na kami. Mm. Hindi na kami mag-release ng anything na flagship pagdating sa MWC 2015. But guess what? I'm surprised. Mayroon pa rin silang bago. It's not flagship, but it's still something from Sony. 
And they call it the Xperia M4 Aqua. Nabalita mo ba ito, Jam? Uh, yeah, yung Xperia <coughs> M4 Aqua is their newest smartphone. Well, from the name itself, Aqua. Mm-hmm. It's uh, water-resistant. Uh, waterproof. By waterproof, water, yes. waterproof siya. And it's not their uh, parang uh, high-end uh, flagship smartphone. It doesn't pack uh, Snapdragon 810 processor. But uh, meron siya sa loob is a 64-bit Qualcomm uh, <coughs> Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor. Which is a uh, quite good na mid-range na processor. Actually, medyo mid to high-end nga ito. Nasa gitna nun dalawa tong, uh, six Snapdragon 615. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Adreno 405 na GPU. 2 gigs of RAM. 5-inch um, scratch-resistant HD display. Um, it's available in 8 or 16 uh, gig na internal storage, but don't worry, it, it is expandable up to 32 gig. There's 13 megapixel um, autofocus camera. It's a Sony Exmor RS camera. Uh, 5 megapixel front-facing camera, so finally, tumataas na yung megapixel sa unahan. And yeah. nag-improve na yung mga front-facing camera sa mga smartphones natin. Well, of course, meron siyang LTE, NFC, GLONASS, Wi-Fi, and... Um, there's a non-removable uh, lithium-ion 2400 milliamps of battery. Again, it's waterproof, so pwede siya ilublob up to 1.5 meters. Wow. Na, ano. So medyo malalim na 1.5 meters, you could uh, use it sa swimming pool. Uh, Fresh water lang actually uh, dapat. Kas- kasi may ano eh, pag salt water, meron siyang effects sa phones. Pwede mag-corrode yung, ano, yung mga ports nyo, yung mga metal. Ano. Yes. Iba kasi yung, ano, eh, yung composition sa salt water compared sa fresh water like sa <coughs> oh, pag naliligo kayo sa shower and then uh, iba yung tubig sa salt water. Sa swimming pool, iba rin kasi may chlorine. Pero mas okay yung sa swimming pool. Eh. Mas safe naman yung sa swimming Correct. pool compared dun sa salt water. Uh, so yun, yun yung sa ano, sa sa waterproof. Ah, may by the way, yung, yung price, uh, sabi ni Sony, uh, it will come out in a few months for 229 euros or 14,720 pesos. Not Approximately not, not. yung mga price ng, ano eh, ng mga M-series nila eh, mm-hmm. sa Philippines. And consider meron siyang Snapdragon 615 processor, I guess okay yung pricing niya. Kasi normally, gantong pricing nasa Snapdragon 400 lang eh. Yeah. Uh, hindi hindi snap, for, Snapdragon 410 ang ano, ang mga pricing. Pero ito, si Snapdragon 615 and it's waterproof. And it's a Sony smartphone. We all yeah, know that Sony a, smartphone Sony is smartphone. Ano, matagal-tagal uh, na sila sa, ano, sa industry, ng, na, sa mobile industry. Yeah. Um, and isa pa, type ko yung design. <laughs> medyo type ko yung design. Uh, okay, medyo okay. malinis tingnan. Okay. Mahilig ako sa mga Sony na, ano, na design. Medyo yeah, malinis. Minim- ano, malinis. Minimalistic yung design. Yes. So yeah, so uh, it's good to see uh, Sony sa, ano, it's MWC. Yes. And uh, we'll have to wait for you know, for news kung ano na ba talaga mangyayari sa Sony because I've been seeing a lot. No? Mm-hmm. Actually, I think one of my, you know, uh, we, we had an article recently that the Xperia, the Sony, yes, we won't be seeing the Sony brand mm-hmm. but it's gonna be, it's gonna be the Vio brand that's gonna take over. Mm-hmm. So Then, ang, may nabasa naman ako sa isa pang blog na may nakausap daw sila mga executives hindi daw totoo na binibenta ni Sony yung ano or papakawalan ni Sony smartphone yeah. business, smartphone line uh-huh. so ang gulo eh ang daming ano, well, eh. so, hanggang walang final confirmation yeah, uh, we so, can't say anything na so I guess, ano, talaga so I guess uh, we'll just have to wait, wait for official news hmm. kung Ano, don't worry, talaga. kahit naman matuloy yun, may update pa rin yung Sony. I mean, hindi na naman basta-basta bibitawan ng Sony. I still want Sony to fight, I mean, just to uh, add variety. I, and the uh, Sony sa parang known brand have, pagdating sa tech. Eh. And I would have really wanted, I, I know, I, really, uh, I, w- I was supposed to buy the, uh, or supposed to get the Sony Xperia Z2 last mm-hmm. year. Kung di lang matagal talaga yung delivery, <laughs> I would have gotten it instead of the S5, but you know. So anyway, yeah, uh, uh, good, good to see uh, Sony f- sa MWC 2015. Yes. Next in the news is, um, okay, next in the news is ano naman, Blackberry naman. Uh, Blackberry. Okay. So, uh, nung, nung ano, last weekend, we recorded the uh, Blackberry uh, classic, classic hands-on review. And uh, kahit... Talagang sinagad natin yung review na yun. Jam, oh, no? Sinulit na. <laughs> Kasi magkanda yung mesa natin. Eh. Oo, oh, ang ganda rin ang lighting. <laughs> Marble. Eh, na, mabilis yung internet. Yun yung, ano, yun yung 
mo ano talaga. 30, 30 minutes of uh, of uh, what we can say about the Blackberry Classic. It's all there. Uh, we'll Check po- it out. We'll, we'll post the link here. Uh. Okay. So, uh, in, in the MWC, uh, in, in this current MWC, may ano, may ano, aspect din na Blackberry. Mm-hmm. Okay? And they're, in, and they're calling it the Blackberry Tea. No? So, uh, puntahan natin yung specs ng BlackBerry Leaf. Uh, 5-inch on touch screen niya, 1280 by 720 resolution. Tapos, of course, it's already on BlackBerry 10. I assume by that time, mm-hmm. 10.3.1 ay yung, ano niya, yung latest OS. Uh, processor is a <coughs> it's running on a 1.5 GHz dual-core Snapdragon. MSM8960 So that's an old processor Similar to the processor. BlackBerry Classic Qualcomm, yeah Qualcomm na ano uh-huh. RAM is 2 gig, 16 gig uh, expandable uh, With a micro SD slot Camera is 8 megapixels At the, at the back with flash 2 megapixel front Battery, so <clears throat> This one's big 2,800 mAh mm-hmm. And uh, L- uh, it has LTE Wi-Fi BGN uh, it supports Miracast, may FM radio, GPS, Bluetooth 4.0, and uh, and a micro USB uh, for, you know, for for a connector. Now, uh, ang kaka- ang, ang, what's interesting with this, you know, with this, um, with, with this, uh, with this phone, okay, is it's a touchscreen device, but it has a slide out keyboard. Mm. So it. It, this is not the first time, okay? This is not the first time that BlackBerry has done this. Remember the torch mm-hmm. back in 2011? Uh-huh. So, that was the, you know, that was the first slide-out keyboard. Mm-hmm. And my touchscreen device with the, uh, no, with the slide-out keyboard. BlackBerry 9800, right? Yeah, the 9800 store. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but this time, you have a bigger screen. Because yung, yung, ano no, yung uh, BlackBerry... I don't know, I'm sorry. The 9800 is different from the Storm. Ah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, kasi ang Storm... Check natin. Ano lang talaga. Wala talagang keyboard. Hmm. Pero yung 9800, may Meron? keyboard. Okay. May slide out keyboard. Okay. okay. Medyo na... Nalito tayo na, doon. Oh, nalito ako doon. So... Check natin. Uh, uh, well, let... let 9800, uh, meron slider. <laughs> Okay, 9800 Ah, Blackberry Storm. Torch. Torch. Oh. Okay, so st- the Storm is different. Okay? Oh, the Storm is different. I believe the Storm is the uh, ano, yung ano lang, touch yung screen. screen lang. And meron pa siyang Storm 2. Dalawa, alam ko tanda yun eh. Ito, Ayan, tama, 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 tama. tama, tama, tama. tama. Okay. Tama. Kasi dami, ano, dami, na. Na, nahilo rin ako sa Blackberry And medyo luma na rin ito, ano, eh, Blackberry Storm. 2008 yeah. pa pala ito. Yeah, yeah, 2008, yan ang panahon ng ano. iPhone 3GS. Right. At that time. So, no, no, 3G. 3G pa ba? So anyway, uh, okay, I started correctly. This is Blackberry Torch. So it, it was, uh, no, ganun din, ganun din Blackberry Torch before. Mm-hmm. Touch screen with a slide out keyboard. But this one is a big, has a bigger screen. Mm-hmm. Okay? The, 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 <clears throat> the, um, the Leap has a bigger screen. And, uh, okay. Yeah, the, the Leap has a bigger screen. And um, yun nga, may slide out keyboard, uh, keyboard pa siya. And so if you, you know, it's, it's it, it, you know, for, for these kinds of devices, it depends. And you want to use the, you want to use the touch screen, go ahead and use the touch screen. Mm-hmm. But if, if there are those times that you want to use the keyboard, go ahead and slide out keyboard and use the keyboard to type, uh, to type messages, uh, to chat. Or heck, to even you know, write notes or or blog, no. Right. So, well, this you know, um, um, well, a common issue lang naman dito is you know the sliding, you know, the sliding mm-hmm. mechanism. Yung ribbon nga sinasabi. The ribbon. Oh, Kasi yun yung guys, when, you, when we say ribbon, there's a. I don't know if you're not if you're able to notice this, slider phones. Whether they're smartphones or not, may makikita ka yung ribbon sa likod. Hmm. Yun yung ribbon na sinasabi namin. Oo, oh, na, nasa loob yung ribbon. Uh, hindi, hindi niya siya makikita sa ano eh. Pag binuksan niyo yung phone niyo, makikita niyo parang may something na kulay gold or right. green or whatever na ginagamit nila. Right. Pero it's ano, it's the one na uh, nagsesend ng uh, parang input-output for the keyboard. Yes. I mean, in, 
the output into something si like tamo, that. Parang, yeah, parang ganun nga. So, it's a connector. Okay? Mm-hmm. Without that ribbon, it the the keyboard will not be able to communicate with the, you know, with the, with the screen. Yeah. Okay? So, it's like having two, you know, it's like, uh, yun nga, bali, bali wala. Bali wala yung phone. Mm-hmm. Kasi, may gumagana, gumagana ng phone mo, pero yung keyboard, when you, whatever you input on your keyboard will not appear on the phone. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, in a karamihan, I mean, I've because you know, I, I, used, I used to work in the telco industry. We've sold these kinds of phones, no? mm. S- smartphone, both feature phones and smartphones, na slider. This is the common problem. And um, I don't know how uh, if Blackberry can assure us that this, uh, no, uh, that the you know, the sliding mechanism would be sturdy. Mm. I mean, would it. Um, uh, would it guarantee us that it will be you know long uh, last longer than the Pero, usual slider phones alam mo kasi sa Blackberry in my experience parang normally sturdy talaga sila yung maganda yung construction ng mga Blackberry smartphones talaga ibang klase yung ano nila hardware nila they're like Nokia pero they're Blackberry parang ganun uh, ano sila eh? I mean uh, maganda yung engineering quality ng kanila mga phones compared to other smartphones and uh, Blackberry is known to be secured. Actually, the president, ito, uh, the POTUS or the president of the United States, Barack Obama, is using a Blackberry. Kasi mm-hmm. secured ang Blackberry OS. Eh. Iba yung sa Blackberry compared to Android. Yeah, iba talaga eh. Oh, another, another, you know, another useful, uh, another um, interesting tidbit about the phone. Huh? Mm-hmm. It also has a dual curved edge screen. No, oh, talaga? Yeah, yeah. So, we curved display siya. And just like the S6 Edge. Uh-huh. So, meron siya sa kaliwa. Yung ano, curved edge, meron siya sa kaliwa, meron siya sa kanan. Oh, Unfortunately, no. we don't have a, ano eh, we don't have a, a close-up image of the, ano, of the phone. But, it says to have that kind of, ano, uh, curved screen technology. So, I wonder if they're gonna have the, you know, just like what it, it was, uh, like, just like what it was shown to us last month, na sa Note Edge. Mm-hmm. If, if app developers would be able to support the use of the curved edge technology, that would be interesting. Other than that, we'll get tayo masa. Mm, right. Pero maganda yung curve. Maganda Pero maganda yung curve. Sobrang ganda na may curve. I'd, I'd like to try this out. You know, uh-huh. I'd like to try this out. Currently, I'm enjoying the, the classic. Mm-hmm. Because it's it's my type of phone. It's my type of phone. But uh, I, w- uh, I won't mind testing this out even though, na, you know, I just feel na 5 inch screen tapos may slide out keyboard I think it's kind of wieldy eh mm-hmm. na malaki na yung screen mo tapos meron ka slide out keyboard medyo... parang it's not quite balanced mm, medyo so, mabigat well unless mabalanced sila yung weight and yeah then... so I'd read but I'd, I'd like to see if this would work for me and you know how I, if I would be able to recommend this for you know for both Blackberry and non-Blackberry users right right anyway enough for uh, enough of Blackberry we have Windows Phone news. Mm, right. Lots of Windows Phone news. Uh, we're gonna start off with our Windows Phone news with uh, with Acer. Okay. Mm. So, uh, would you would you like to discuss this jam? Yeah, ikaw mo na sa Acer. Ikaw na lang. Asi ako na lang muna. So you. Kasi mas maganda yung mas maganda yung balita after Acer. <laughs> oh, mas maganda yung mga balita after. All right. Acer. So Acer. Well, I would like to say, welcome back, Acer, to Windows. <laughs> right, right. Kasi na wala sila eh. Yeah, because, you know, um, the last time I've seen Acer, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the la- but the last time I've seen Acer with uh, with with the Windows Mobile OS was way back in 2000, uh, 2009. So, okay. wait, Windows Phone 7 pa? No, it wasn't Windows Phone 7. Windows Mobile 6.5. Ah, that's so... Okay. So they were the you know they were the first to have the dual SIM the Windows Mobile. Mm-hmm. Yung Eclipse, yung Cherry Mobile Eclipse. Oh, that was. You know first local, Uh-oh. first Philippine. Pero si Acer, sila yung first global. Mm. Okay. Sila yung first in global. Mm-hmm. Worldwide. Worldwide to produce a Windows Mobile phone with dual SIM. All right. So uh, actually, meron pa isa pang brand. It's called the Glowfish. Ano My good, uh, di mo na alam yun? Di ko na ano yun. See, dami ko pag alam pa na na, di pa alam nito. <laughs> Lantaon lang ako nun. 
<laughs> but this was also the same actually, year, 2009. Oh, okay. that was bloody From what I remember, Glowfish was bought out by Acer. Ah, therefore, okay. therefore, they applied yung, uh, syempre, yung, yung design philosophy, the engineering. They applied na lang yung design hardware. kasi mas maganda talaga yung Acer kasi sa Glowfish eh. Hmm. I actually have one sample with me. I forgot where I placed it. No, baka nabubulok na. But um, ano pala na? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it was the first dual sim. Actually, I tested it. Eh. I, mm. I played with it. And uh, side story lang tough guys ha. Because I used to work for Cherry. I don't know if most of you know it, but I used to work for Cherry. And yung yung Eclipse, which I said, yun yung first dual sim when first dual sim Windows phone ng uh, ng Cherry Mobile. Mm-hmm. Yung project na yun, ako nag-head. Mm-hmm. Sa akin, pinasa yun. Shine Paano ko inayos yun? Kasi, pinaglaroan ko yung Acer na Glowfish mm-hmm. na dual sim. Ang daming kulang. So, yung when, mga... you say, when I say maraming kulang, kasi ganito, when you say dual sim, dapat, di ba, ano mo, unang panahon na dual sim, when I say unang panahon na dual sim, pare, mga 2007, 2008, mm-hmm. okay, Ang dami na reklamo ano ba yan? Dual SIM, dual standby ba yan? Mm. Kasi dual standby is common eh. But before, it's not. Right. Okay? Dati wala And, pa. Isang... Ang mga ka-receive lang ng call, kung anong sinet mong ano, priority. Right, right, right. Right? Mm. Mga, kung ano mga ka- kung ano mga, kung sa, saan ka mga katawag, saan ka mga katatext, dun lang sa SIM na nakaset ang priority. Mm. Right. Hindi standby pareho. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, lahat yun, hindi ganun sa, ano, sa Windows Phone dati. Inayos ko pa yun. Hmm. So dati, uh, isa lang yung gumagana. Right, isa oh, lang yung gumagana. Hindi pa common yung dual standby na. O kaya nakakatawa, pwede ka nga mag-receive sa, 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 sa SIM number 2, pero hindi ka pwede mag-reply nun talaga, kahit ano mangyari. O, oh, so ha- annoying. <laughs> diba? O, oh, di- medyo, para saan pa itong nag-dual so, SIM ka pa ako hindi mo na magagamit. Exactly, ito. so, uh, yung, uh, sa dami ko nakita mga mali ng Acer, sabi ko, we have to make this right pag mm. nilabas yung cherry. Mm. Kaya kami na tagal noon, 6 months inabot. 6 no? months kasi ako na kayo pag sa supplier. <laughs> kasi, ayun, sige nga, pag hindi nga inayos yan, bahala ka. Sige, bahala kayo. Mm-hmm. Wala ganun ako. So anyway, in a nutshell, we were able to fix it and it's all done. Mm-hmm. No? And it's, uh, back then, it's a, a quite a uh, good phone. Yes, it was, uh, no, it, it was a fantastic phone. Oh, okay. And actually nga, kahit, even for myself, no, I I know mas marami pa mas maganda sa phone na yun. Mas marami pa mas high-end. But my goodness, there is uh, uh when I f- first went on a on a business trip to China. Mm-hmm. Yun lang yung phone na dala ko. Eclipse lang. Yung Eclipse lang. And, uh, and, and uh, Android is ano, popular ano, that time. It, it was popular, pero, pero hindi pa ganun kalaki. Mahal pa. Oo, mahal pa yung Android. Galaxy oh. S lang yata yun nung time na yun eh. Wala, so, hindi pa na-release ang Galaxy hindi S. Pa ba, hindi pa ba Galaxy it, The Galaxy S was released few months later. Mm. To, uh, August, to be exact. Okay. Natatandaan ko pa yun. Mm-hmm. But I, I brought the, you know, I brought the Eclipse. It was still uh, a, you know, a prototype unit. I brought it with me as my main phone to, to China. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Buhay ako sa phone na yun eh. <laughs> Naga, yung isa pang roaming ko, yung isa nandun yung ano, yung local SIM ko. Mm-hmm. Tapos nakapag ninja shots ako. Ayan. Kasi mabilis yung camera eh. Ah. Mabilis oh. ang pagkuha ng ninja camera. Ninja shots. Kala ko ano yun. That's the only camera na I brought. May camera din ako noon pero yun ang nagmas kinagamit ko. Kasi, kasi convenient pa, eh. Okay. It's, not that, it's, it's not that good but you know, it does a job. Done. Anyway, ta- enough of the side story. Uh, basta yun lang ano, that's how I remember uh, How I remembered Acer with their Windows, you know, Windows Mobile. Now, it's it goes back into into Windows, window, Windows Phone, no? mm-hmm. with the Acer Liquid M220. Okay, so, ano bang specs ng ano ng M220? Uh, yung Acer ngayon, uh, they splashed, no, they splashed into the smartphone market last year with with a lot of Acer phones, no, right. Acer Android phones. I don't know how they're doing. Uh, but um, from uh, anyway with the specs uh, the, for their Windows phone um, a model M- M220 no? mm-hmm. it has a 4 inch uh, display with 480 by 800 uh, resolution At, for a Windows phone okay lang but actually may mas mataas na specs mm-hmm. may mas mataas na display na ngayon for HD, a Windows normally phone normally HD na ngayon ang ano, right, eh, right 
So, processor niya is 1.2 GHz dual core CPU. Well, I, I, Medyo maliit din. I suppose it's still on Qualcomm because mm-hmm. Qualcomm lang naman ang partner. Walang MediaTek na, no, na Windows Phone. 5 megapixels uh, rear camera with autofocus and flash. 2 megapixel front facing camera. 512 M, uh, MB of RAM. Um, I, 512 is okay. Personally, I don't agree. Mm-hmm. 1 gig is still, you know, is still uh, Normally, better. kasi sa Windows Phone, there are games na nagre-require Naga, ng 1 gig. Nagahang eh. Mm. Hindi, kahit yung mga games na 512 lang, nagahang eh. Ah, okay. Naga. That's my experience. Okay. And I stick yeah. to that statement. 4 gig, uh... Huh? No, 4 gig expandable storage. No, four, I guess that's 4 gig na internal storage with uh, Yeah, 4 gig internal storage with expandable. So, and 1,300 million average battery in dual SIM. Yeah, medyo maliit nga. Pero again, this is 4 inch. But you know what? The price. Magkano? It, se- it costs 79 euros oh. or approximately 3,900 mm, pesos. Wow. That's so, one of the most affordable. Na, yeah. Na. So they're trying to, you know, they're trying to um, um, get into the, you know, eh, get affordable into the market. affordable market through the Windows, you know, yeah. Windows phone uh, lineup. So, can, um, Let's see if ano, let's see if Acer would also be sending this sa sa Philippines. Um, yeah. So, yan yung ano, balita sa MWC. So, yun. So, um, let's let's go on with ano, uh, dami pa nating ano. Eh. Oh, dami natin actually punong-puno tayo ng Windows Phone. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of Windows Phone. <laughs> speaking of Windows Phone. Uh, Jam, ano bang next na Windows Phone? Uh, ito yung natin? surprising uh, phones ng, ano eh, ng uh, MWC. Cherry Mobile is in MWC 2015. Mm. Imagine, a local brand, a Philippine brand, is in Barcelona, Spain. Loko to mga taka-cherry, hindi tayo sila sabihin na. <laughs> di tayo ni-invite. <laughs> Mag-email nga tayo sa kanila minsan na uh, i-update nila yung na para ma-ano ma- ma- tayo. Actually, wala sa kanila, wala sa kanila pumunta eh. Wala sa kanila pumunta. So, yung okay. phones na, the even, name... Even is... aka, yung iniisip mo, baka si Boss MSN pumunta. Hindi, oh, nasa, hindi. nasa Japan din pala. Nasa Japan din pala with si the, Boss. No, with the, nagpa-dealers trip sila. Ah, sa Japan. Kaya, kaya, kaya pala sa Japan sila. Ah, kaya so, pala. Well, anyway, um... Yeah, so ano yung ano bang ano, ano bang meron sa MW, MWC? So, um, sa MWC, in-announce ang Alpha Neon and Alpha, Alpha View, which are the newest uh, Windows phones ni Cherry Mobile. So, unahin muna natin yung mas mababa, the Alpha Neon. Uh, actually, the specs is very similar to the Alpha Lux. Mm-hmm. But, yung colors niya is available in uh, silver, yellow, Blue, green, and red. Actually, Lumia color siya eh. Ang ganda ng color siya, medyo type ko eh. Parang Lumia talaga yung dating niya. Yeah. So, there's a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 200 processor. There's a 5-inch HD display. 8 GB of internal storage. Uh, expandable up to 64 GB. 1 GB of RAM. Micro SD, uh, that's expandable. Sinabi ko na kanina pala. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and... Uh, Dual SIM din siya, there's a 2,000 milliamps of battery and it's powered by Windows Phone 8.1. Yung camera niya, sabi nila, is to be announced. Wala pa rin ba yung announce regarding sa camera? Wala pa yan. So, medyo, so baka, hopefully, maganda yung camera. Pero for now, wala pa po tayong, um, uh, wala pa po tayong uh, specifications para do sa camera. Well, the other one is the Cherry Mobile Alpha View. Actually, the specifications is quite similar, eh, except that na hindi siya available in many colors and mas malaking display nito. So, in the Alpha View, it's there's a... It's a phablet. It's a phablet, yes. There's a 6-inch HD display. Mm-hmm. And the rest is similar, except for the battery, which is 2600. It's a phablet, but with a low-cost, uh, with a low-cost processor. Mm-hmm. And it's so, a Windows phone. It's a one of, I guess, and, the and, most... And, and, uh, no, and um, I think, uh, mm-hmm. I think, because this is the, this, these are the, and I remember, like, I, I remember, see, uh, see, uh, Nokia GM, Philippines mm-hmm. GM, what's his mm-hmm. name? Uh, see, see, Karel? Karel, Karel yeah. Karel. Uh, who's now the Microsoft, uh, Mobile. Mobile GM, no? Nagpalit na kasi ng pangalan ng Nakakalito. company name. <laughs> but I remember him saying that the videos, ano, uh, they're focusing on bigger screens because they want, ano, the market wants to watch videos. Right. You no, know, videos like us. Like, ano, like the, the CP Republic. Republic diba? Diba? Oh. So, Alam mo, manag-kiss 3-inch, di ba? Late. Oh, late, late, di ba? So, yung, ano, 
I think this is a good move by Cherry. Yeah. Fablet with a low cost na ano, low cost na, na processor. Okay. E ganito yung yung Neon, yung Alpha Neon, ang magkano kaya yan? I think this would ano, this would be around This is the same specs as the Alpha Lux. Alpha Lux. Pero yung may available siya in a uh, variety of colors. Right. Let's just say it's it will replace the Alpha Lux. I guess. I guess papalitan so, yung Alpha Lux. Possibly same price. Magkano mm. magkano presyo? 499. Uh, 499. Pero baka, mas mababa kasi last may... year pa yung Alpha Lux eh. Yun yun, yun nga. Last year pa yung Alpha Lux which means baka ito yung pumadita sa Alpha Lux. And mas bumaba pa yung price kasi similar specification. No, no, no. no. Let's, not fo- <laughs> let's focus on this. Let's focus okay. on this. So, this might replace the Alpha Lux, right? Mm-hmm. At 4999. Mm. Or, baka si Cherry, dahil wala nang Alpha Style, I- I'm assuming na they're not going to release the Alpha Style. Alpha Style. Okay? Mm-hmm. Which is which used to be sold at 2999. Mm-hmm. No? <laughs> Baka ito na gawin na ng 3999. Why not? That could be the game ano, game plan of Cherry. Wala, eh, eh, kasi these are two old models, mawawala na yan eh. Mm-hmm. Ito na yung papalit eh. Right. Ano, mo magiging, ano ba magiging gameplay mo dito? 4999 or gawin mo na ito 3999? Let's take a hit. 1,000 pesos off. Would that sell? Kasi kung marami naman colors eh, marami kang variety. Mm-hmm. Right? And okay na may and, specs. In, and the specs naman are the same. Hmm. So, let's see. Tingin ko, 3,999 to. Now, for the view, for the alpha view, mm. because you have a 6-inch screen, pero you have the same specs. Okay? You have the uh, the rest uh, uh, the rest have the same specs anyway. Except for the battery and display. <laughs> oh. Magkano kaya? Uh, Possibling? 5. 5,999. Please. <laughs> Gusto ko ng mura Windows phone. Kasi... The fablet and, and you know and you know, I've seen people ha, they've been wanting the Nokia 5020 mm. because they want the fablet right right so, the Asians actually and, and, Asians and, 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 sa, it's the Nokia it's the Nokia 5020 who's able to produce a 6 inch Windows phone tablet mm-hmm. wala nang iba now Cherry will be the second one so it will be interesting to know the sales of of the Cherry Alpha View Cherry Mobile Alpha View when it comes out. Ako din. Gusto ko rin na uh, ano eh. I'm pretty... Uh, my fearless forecast here is the SRP is gonna be between 5,990 pesos to 6,990 pesos. Now, balik muna tayo balik tayo sandaling sandaling sa Alpha Neon. Mm-hmm. Wala palang camera to eh. Wala pa. Wala Hindi pa. Hindi pa naman mention yung camera. So we're not really sure kung ano. Mm-hmm. Kung maganda ang camera na to, baka 4,999. Mm. Kung itong camera ito ay parang sa Alpha Lux, they can probably baka 3,999 yan. Mm-hmm. That's my fearless part. Well, I guess tama ka dun sa ano. Medyo ganun din yung ano ko, hula ko. Uh-huh. Nandun lang somewhere. Yung presyo ng Alpha View and Alpha Neon. Uh, so, yan. Pero parang parang maganda yung forma nitong ano, itong gusto Alpha ko, View. Gusto ko yung sa Alpha yung, View. Maganda yung forma ng Alpha maganda View. Maganda nga eh. Diba? Ay, yung, uh, yung, uh, yung back cover niya, yung corte niya. Mm, it's parang simple but it looks, uh, nice. looks nice. Well, uh, actually, masaya na nga ako sa Alpha Lux ko eh. Mm, actually, Alpha Lux, kailangan, eh. Ko ang, kailangan ko ang gamitin ulit eh. Matagal ko na hindi nagagamit. It's part mm. of my rotation. But, um, I would, I would, this would be very interesting once it launches uh, this year. Mm. Once it reaches our shores. So Cherry, wow! I mean, we're, ano, we're, uh, we're very happy to see you, you know, continuing your, ano, your partnership with, uh, with Microsoft, and continuing to push a Windows mobile, a Windows phone rather. Mm. Uh, parang ang nakatuwa lang kasi yun nga, like what I said earlier, di ba? Uh, we did the Cherry Mobile Eclipse. Mm. That was my project. That was the first Windows. Related mobile. project, yeah, with those mobile related project, I was part of that project, so, talagang happy lang ako na. I miss you Windows Mobile. <laughs> happy, happy lang ako na umabot sila ng ganito eh. Oh, na uh, Windows Phone. Na Windows Phone, so I'm, I'm just really happy. Sana ma, sana dumami pa yung Alpha Series, kasi alam mo, kasi katulad ng sinabi ka na yun, Reg, mas maraming variety, mas maganda sa consumers, mas yeah. maraming options, maraming diba? options, di ba? And I think we have we still have another Cherry Mobile news 
na MWC related pa. Oy, tama yeah, ba yeah. ako? Tama ka, meron pa. Meron pa. Oh. And this time, it's not on the Windows Phone. Hindi na siya Windows Phone. Hindi na alam siya Windows Phone. Oh, but this but one... But it's still a good news for, you know, for a local brand to mm. make a splash in the international Sur- Very scene. surprising nga eh, na merong Cherry Mobile sa MWC 2015. I did not expect that. <laughs> Nagulat ako na merong Cherry Mobile sa MWC 2015. Actually, we have to, uh, talked about this yata before, although hindi pa natin napakita hands-on. So, this is the Cherry Mobile Ace. It's a Firefox um, smartphone and it is the cheapest smartphone Officially. in the world. Officially. 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 Kasi, when, when, when we had our meeting with, with Mozilla mm-hmm. uh, about the Firefox OS last December, yeah. ano, it was already announced and actually you, even yung, yung president nila diba president mm-hmm. ba nila yun uh, si Sir Bob Parang, no no no, no, ay, no yeah president of Mozilla dun sa, oh, yung sa yung, HQ sa Houston oh, yata, something so even even mentioned it mm-hmm. but, uh, but it wasn't that official no mm-hmm. but now they're in the MWC it's it's it, it's now official so uh, you know, I'm very happy na, no? it's something that you can be proud of and, uh, you know, a smartphone cannot, can, can be as cheap as $23. And so, or, or, or in convert. Philippine pesos, you don't need to convert anymore because that, we're selling it here in the Philippines for 999 bucks. Oh my God. <laughs> diba? Diba? Unang presyo ni Cherry was 1499 Yeah. Tapos, for a period, sabi nila, magsasale kami, 999 pesos na lang. Tinanong ko nga sa kanila, so after ng sale, ano yun, tumalik sa 1499 Ay, hindi, most likely, 999 na yan. Kasi i-announce na namin na cheapest smartphone mm-hmm. in the world. Eh. So, magandang title yun eh. Oh. Something that uh, Cherry Mobile can be proud of. Yes, because it's providing phones to the masses na, na even though it's not a known, ano, not, even if it's not Android, mm-hmm. no? But you can still do a lot of things. Oh, you, know, you could do the Facebook. Basic, yeah. The basic things. You can still do social media like Facebook. There, like, there are games uh, like dito na you could download sa so App Store ng Mozilla. Dual SIM din naman. May yeah. camera din naman. You know what? Hindi, kasi nung December, masyado lang tayong busy. Hindi lang natin talaga na, 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 na-focus. Ano, na-fo- ano. na-focus. Ang dami, you know, nung oh. December, I, I hope you forgive us. No? Ang dami talagang, mm, ano, well, ang dami talagang namin ginawa. But uh, Jam and I decided that in in a few in a very future episode, hopefully very soon, a very mm. future episode. So we, I really in, want in, to share that to in our a, in a very uh, very soon. No, uh, we're going to feature the Cherry Mobile Ace. It's not too late because now that the Cherry Mobile Ace is on the global getting stage, spot, yeah, it's getting a spotlight. Getting like a spot on global stage. Let's support them, oh. right? Let's, 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 I'm pretty it, sure that some of our viewers want uh, want to know about the uh, no, Cherry Mobile Ace. Yes, yeah. yun nga, sabi mo kanina, nasa global stage ngayon si Cherry Mobile Ace. Heck, I, I'm even going to buy one nga for my, ano, for my niece kasi kaka-birthday lang niya. Sabi mo, ano gusto mo? Uncle, I want the smartphone. Oh, sige, bibigyan kita ng smartphone. Cherry Mobile is... <laughs> yeah, again, guys, this is a smartphone, not a feature phone, a smartphone. Uh, it, it doesn't have a Play Store, but there are apps that you could download. Actually, apps and games that you could download sa built-in Mozilla App Store. I don't know what that... Uh, Mozilla App Store ba tawag nila Hindi something? Hindi ko naman tandaan eh. Yeah, Firefox hey, App I Store. I haven't used the phone for a while, oh, so... Ako din. Yeah, kailangan ma-revisit talaga natin mm. eh. And it's actually good for 999 pesos. It's not that... It's not a big smartphone. But again, this is the most uh, affordable smartphone in the world. Yes. In the world. Yes. We My have God. that title. Cherry Mobile has that title. My goodness. Talagang, wow. Galing nyo talaga, Cherry. Galing. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Galing, galing. Hopefully, alam mo, sana hindi lang to yung maging pinaka-affordable. Sana may tumalo dito. Kasi, alam mo, gusto ko makakita pa ng mga affordable smartphones pa. Below 1,000 pesos. Below 999. Kasi, basically, this is a 1,000 pesos smartphone. Yeah. So, below 1,000 pesos, normally, yung talagang below 1,000 pesos, not 999. So, so very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, so abangan niyo na lang yung ano, yung uh, yung hands on namin ng Ace. Uh, yeah, also time. also to ano, to discuss right, what Firefox uh, Firefox OS is all about, ano right. expectations and all, you know. Um, and 
I, as I've said this before, you no, know, I will be fo- uh, I will be monitoring the far- the progress of Firefox OS. Mm. It's good to have another another OS in the market, mm-hmm. and I want to see it grow. Just just the same way I've seen Windows Mobile grow, the same way I've seen Android grow, the same way I've seen iOS grow. Um, I want to see another another OS, and this is it. You no, know? mm. uh, this is it. Uh, hopefully. Um, it will ano, it will grow faster. No. Magandang ano eh, magandang sign tong ano eh, yung mga murang smartphones yeah. ano, Firefox. And uh, ano naman, the, yung Mozilla Firefox Firefox OS upon our uh, interview with the uh, with the people from uh Mozilla. From Mozilla Foundation. It's not just about yung ano eh, yung entry level eh. Mm-hmm. Syempre meron din sila mga high end na sa support. And si Cherry, the fact that they're supporting yung ano in Firefox OS, I'm, uh, uh, they're, uh, we're also pretty sure that they're also going to have more phones with Firefox OS in it. So, baka pa nga mas high-end pa eh. Mm, baka pa nga mas high-end. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, ne, I'm pretty sure. Baka mas, ano, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, Nobody told me. But, you know, I... Uh, it doesn't... I don't have to be a rocket scientist to, learn, to know this eh. Yung... Siyempre, you already have a low end, but but kapag gagawa na ito pang low end? Mm. Lalo na if it's uh, okay naman. Gawa ka ng mas higher end, mas, medyo mas mataas pa ng konti. So, tingin ko yun naman yun magiging next project nila. Sana. Uh, anyway, so that, those are the uh, news for the week. Sa, ang dami, no? Bumamay tayo sa news ngayon. Gusto ko pa. <laughs> yeah. Ang dami. <laughs> Baka magkaroon pa. Tingnan natin. Pero... Uh, that's all for ano. Uh, that's all for uh, for uh, for to uh, for tonight. No? Mm-hmm. Actually, gab- gabi tayo nag-record ngayon. Uh, kahit pagod na kami ni Jam, mm-hmm. galing si Jam, galing sa no, school. school. Pero okay lang. Uh, I mean, enjoy pero, naman tayo sa CP Republic. Pero, I'm pretty sure na na love, nag-enjoy din kayo. Sa dami ng usapan, grabe. Yeah, love talaga namin yung mga cellphone. So, oh, kailangan grabe. talaga namin ni Mitch. Really excited. Ka, so, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, yes. YouTube.com slash the DR Network. Link sa baba. Networks pala. Networks. Uh-oh. May link po sa baba. Yeah. And then, ano, uh, there, there will be a hands-on review. So, um, pag, uh, Ano ba sasabihin ko na wala ako? Pag may ano? Pag wala may na time. sa baon na utak ko. Pag may time. Uh, Alas on, sinda ng gabi kasi. Pag may time, uh, we'll do a hands-on of the Cherry Mobile Ace. Yeah. Hopefully. There, there will be a time. There will be, ano, a very, very... Kasi very during senior. that time, sobrang dami na dumating sa ating units. Toro, hands-on, 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 hands-on. Yeah. Sobrang dami. Doon dumating Nakali- si Selfie, dumating si Infinite Nakali- Square X. Na- Nakaligtaan namin yung Ace. Uh, so, pasensya na talaga. Pero... That that will be you know that will come very soon. Actually, actually, I think we have to prioritize. It. Yes, yeah. I guess since the, again na sa global stage si Cherry Mobile Ace. Yeah. And uh, yun. Sige po. So yan lang muna yun ano yun ang uh, news statement for the CP Republic. We'll be back for our hands-on uh, review segment. So wakayu alis.